Hello my lovely Sagittarius. How are you loves? I hope everybody's well. Sagis, today will do your January 2020 reading. This is a monthly reading and yes, it's a general read. My resonate with you loves, my not. Take it accordingly. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Also, whatever message comes today, either it's love, career, health, money, whatever it is, I will say to you, loves. All right, Sagis, today we'll do a very, very complex reading, more detailed. And we'll use a Mystic Monday Tarot as your overall energy. We'll use the Romance Angels Oracle for your love situation. We'll use the wisdom of the oracle as your overall advice. Our radiant wise tarot as your whole reading and the clarifiers. Also, I add for all of you from the 12 zodiac science, we'll pick four of them to see with who you are dealing. And this is a bonus for all of you at the end. If you deal with one of these science, Stick up with me till the end, and I want to wish all of you blessings in this new year. Also, whatever you're dealing loves, you know that it's something more for all of you. Keep up, it's a new year, it's something marvelous coming for this year, and I want you all of you be prepared. Let's see here what the predictions we have for this month going forward. For some of you, this could be just for January. For some of you, could be just for a day. For some of you, could be for the whole year. Take it accordingly, loves, okay? And let's see here. with If you deal with one of the science, take it out. Sagis. Also, many, many thanks for all of you who subscribe, if you didn't subscribe, make sure you do. For commenting, liking, thumbs up if you feel this is your reading or resonates any message in here. And I'm very grateful for all of you who trusted my services and book a reading. Let's see, Sag. Number one you are dealing is the Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay. Keep up with me till the end and we'll see what's going on between you and this person or basically what you should be aware of regards this person, okay? Number two, we have Moon, Piscean Energy. Number three, number three, Temperance, another Sag. And the last one, the last one for the Sagittarius star, Aquarius energy, okay? If you're dealing with one of the signs, a Virgo, a Pisces, another Sag, or a, an Aquarius, stick up with me. Let's see here what we have from the Wisdom of the Oracle. What's your advice for this month? One card, we have come to the edge, number 36. I feel here you are just about to, to end something and start something new. For some of you, you hit the rock bottom last year and this year is time for you to fly. Just let those wings to open, okay? But let's read the card and see what's the meaning behind this. Number 36. And overall energy of come to the edge. It's courage. Take a leap of faith. Overcoming fears and accepting the risk. In the relationships, it is scary to be truly intimate with someone to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you kept hidden and protected. Now it is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not the time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. 
you will be glad you did. If you are seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire. So loves Sagittarius, if you want something truly, if you want that, you got to take that risk. Okay, that is a very, very strong message for some of you. Let's hear the Romance Angels, what wants to share with you for this month. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Okay, for some of you, you are... Finding out that the person who is around you is not what they should be, okay? For some of you, coming to the edge, it is about to speak it up and clear the air between you two, just to not be disappointed after, okay? For some of you, you come to an end with somebody who you don't really feel they are true to you, and it's about to like, let's clear the air. Let's have that conversation one and forever. And to know where we're hitting or just to stop it here. Okay. Let's see here what the missing Mondays overall energy for the reading. We have a few cards from the mystic Mondays. We have princess of wand. This is you loves. One more card. That was falling too many. Moon. Very much afraid what could be, what should be. King of Swords. Of course, speak it up. Piscean Energy. Air Energy, King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And ten of ones. And that is mean to me. It is time for putting a burden down. A burden you care for too long, too long, Sag. Also, it tells me here, even you are afraid to say it out loud. Princess of Wands, this is shows me here. It is the page of wands for me, Princess of Wands in here. And it's time for from that small energy to go to king of wands to take action king of wands and king of swords they are two kings who are want to go forward speak it up make plans and do what is right for them and i feel here even if you are not knowing what to do not knowing what to speak but you feel like it's too heavy deep inside my soul Speak it up. Let it go. Vent it out. It is not the time for you to be afraid of to say it out loud. King of Swords is inviting you to not be so afraid. Because if you'll be afraid, you will carry that for way longer than you think you can. And it's time for you to start the month clear, crystal clear between you and this person. Okay, and somebody really needs to face up the truth. Also, yes, for some of you, you are overly emotional at this time. With the King of Swords and the Moon is control your thoughts, control your feelings. It's a, it's a disconnect between your heart and your brain. That's why you experience so much heaviness into your life. And sometimes it's like, don't act small, act big, okay? That's a very strong message for many of you, Sag. Don't act that you are small, act that you are you and you're true to you. Let's see here what's going on with in your overall and what we have for this month for the lovely Sagittarius. All right. As you know, this reading could be for a day, could be for a month. I entitle as January 2020. For some of you, could be even for a year. Take it accordingly. Okay. 
and many thanks for each of you who are here who is part who's part of this beautiful family as you know Sag we bring the positivity healing energy guidance and we do not allow in here any negativity and I know we will hurt and we will need to uplift our energy uplifting our energy is thinking positive positively regards what is coming be very much into that energy one thing ended and another comes and comes a more beautiful because many of you you'll be very much like that's crazy what you're saying embrace the pain and grow because many of us we grow when we are in that pain and I will tell tell you why as a reptile and I know you guys know the reptiles leave their skin behind when you don't fit in a skin and you want to grow you leave it behind and that is something better it's like a butterfly from a larva, from a caterpillar is growing something good and it's time for you to do so okay let's see Sanj what we got for you and very much focus on your money this month very much into your money I feel here at one point you need to slow it down okay also what I'm feeling here Sag you came right here right first it tells me here be bold this month if you believe something is yours go after it yes some of you you are leaving somebody here who who is not really truthful not fulfilled for you are you are here to speak the truth for some of you you leave a player okay because I feel here you you are the Sag the main minor arcana of Virgo and ace of swords also for many of you somebody is coming to you and want to talk to you very very like not really pleasant but at least you know the truth ten of swords six of cups ten of pentacles okay for some of you didn't speak with this person for over six months six eight months it's kind of like a decision being made here but you you're very much like happy that this person is back because somebody's coming back somebody you have a history somebody you've been with you could have kids with this person but I feel here this person was not truly for you or you felt they didn't what truthful for you something ended could start something in the past like started and ended in a very short time that person comes back now because they made the decision to start something but it is some hurt here that needs to be clear out and I feel here could be a third party in the past could be things not clear between you two because we have the moon here it's like unfinished business with somebody here for some of you you we have the the oracle card the wisdom of the world come to the edge it's you needed to hit the rock bottom or this person to hit the rock bottom to understand what they need to do or what they need to mark for their life yes absolutely there is an earth sign for some of you it is an Aries but I definitely see here there is something offered to you Sag to move forward into something stable with who is this person only you know it's just the energy coming here somebody wants to take it again with you or be with you for some of you loves I feel here you will speak the truth to somebody here 
I feel here also there could be a family member you speak the truth. It is coming a situation back. Something and somebody have been very, very hurt in the past. They come to clear up the air. Also, some of you, it is a family member. Some of you, it is somebody you've been married or coupled with. Somebody is apologizing. It's a true apology here. And this person doesn't want to be hurt anymore. They want to be happy. And they want you, Sag, to make a choice. Will you take this apology and choose them or not? Some of you is a Leo, some of you is a um, Gemini. Or this will end here. Whatever decision is, one of you will be hurt for some reason. Many of you, you'll be happy that you had a, cl a proper closure here. But I don't feel the trust is still here. But I feel here, for many of you, Sag, you have somebody new here. Again, uh, a Leo and an Aries. But I definitely see your energy. You're moving on towards a more stable relationship. And I feel here, if somebody from the past come here and tells you things, I don't feel you really much want that person. Okay, whatever they offer here, because they don't have too much to offer. For many of you, I see you moving forward. But at least, at least you have that conversation and that Ten of Swords put them down. Because it was too hard for you to deal with such a burden. I, I feel here you could be very different from this person and different of religion, different of color, different of nationality, very different in, in the things you've been doing. Whatever been between you two was short term. I feel here this person choose to move forward and come back. Whatever happened between you two end up in betrayal. But I feel here there's some truth coming out. If somebody were not committed in the past, they want to commit now. But I feel here one of you is like, I'm not ready or I don't have right now to offer too much. For those of you, Sag, who do want to commit to somebody... Moving on from this energy, you will move towards a better person, somebody who is better to you, and that person could be the one for you, okay? But let's clarify here. For many of you, you are very much a business person. You start something new in your business, in your work, starting putting applications. I feel here it is a very good position out there for you. At first, you could have a small, a small promotion, but later on, it's like from something small, you're going to be big, okay? You could be just from a simple worker to become a manager or even a director, something big. I feel here is some recognition in your job, in your career, in your money. Even you feel it's small, actually, for the long term, will be big, okay? For many of you, you, you're leaving a job very unfulfilled, and leaving that job, it's a blessing for you. Because I feel here you've been working very hard and you've been afraid to leave that job. I feel here if you apply, Sag, Going this month, going forward, and this month, going six months, around June, July, August, you will get something awesome. At first, you might feel it's small regarding job. At first, you feel small, but in the long run, will give you that stability, okay? For some of you, a, a, a old friend could help you with that. But I feel here there's some contracts signed here. 
okay? I see a lot of trouble mostly in the summer, even it's just one reading here and it's just for this month. I see here in the summer there is a lot of trouble for you, Sag. Also, it is coming into your life, somebody, as we speak right now, and in this first six months, first six months of the year, and that person, it is somebody to be the one for you, okay? For some of you who had unfinished business with somebody here, you you need to start understanding that that person, if somebody done wrong to you once, how they will be afterwards. Let's see here. Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Too many cards. One more card. Six of Cups. It is coming back, somebody. Absolutely. But this person, either you go back to somebody, either they come to you. They are very confused what happened between the two. If it was a very short-lived relationship and it ended very short, they're coming back to clarify and to, to speak up something. Let's see here what they want to speak up here. Knight of Wands. They want to speak with you. They want to clear the air. What happened? Why was that? Could be you, loves, Sag. This person is watching you or you could watch them. But they need some truth from you. Or you need from somebody the truth. For some of you, you might share children with this person. Two of Swords. Somebody was not opening up. when What happened here, what you had with this person and it ended fast, Sag, is because either you, either them, flip the energy again, was not opening up. Emotionally, this person was not opening up. They could be married at that time or just emotionally unavailable. That's why they feel that you cheated on them or just like being very inconsistent. But I feel here was shared a, a very strong happiness. I feel here you've been dealing in the past with a twin energy here. Yes, somebody has been going through a divorce but was not a give and take. Libra energy here. Let's see here. Three of Swords. King of Swords. This person is very much ice. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel here they are very cold to anybody out there. They are not. They've been hurt very strongly. Either by you, either by other people. And this person is just like. Not allowing to be vulnerable or emotionally. Ten of Swords. They feel like everybody who comes in their life betray them, use them. Not feeling a chorus energy. But they do want love. They do want to clear up with you. They want happiness. Okay? For many of you, it is you, Sag. You didn't allow happiness. And you are... Here to have that happiness. Okay. Let's see here. For those of you who are moving on from somebody. Clarifying the six of wands. Moving forward. Death. You could move on with a Scorpio. But I feel here you are ready to change. It is a big change. You are allowing to your life like clearing up the what was in the past definitely moving forward for some of you you literally moving home one more card judgment for some of you it's coming somebody into your life starting this year or could start next last year here 2019 and you recognize this person is somebody very much tied to you from another past life Okay, it is somebody very, very much you recognize them. You don't feel at first, if you move towards something new, you feel like this person came up to clear and give you something new here. Judgment. 
three of wands i feel here you you start with somebody new but from scratch like you 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 recognize what was in the past for many of you it's just like i just want to clear my path looking for what's there for me better but this time i will do everything different i will not be who i've been before going forward you have a new beginning loves with whoever is that person okay Let's see here, if you deal with a Virgo, Sag, Temperance, they want to reconcile with you, they are thinking of you, they are healing from a situation. They are very much focused on their money, also they want to grow financially, also they, they feel the need of, I need to care. They want to come back to you. If you break up with them, this person want to move forward with you. Also, they have some luck in their finances here, but they do want to reconcile with you. They have, wow, three major arcana right of way. They really overcame or they are overcoming a situation and they, they hope to move forward in general in their life. If you deal with a Pisces, Sagittarius, they want to move forward, chariot, or they are moving forward. They want to come towards you. I see a small offer. I see an apology. They want to take a leap of faith with you and move forward with you. But they don't really know how to start to communicate with you. If you deal with another Sag here. This is too, too many secrets between you two. Too much of inconsistency here. But they want to communicate with you and they will communicate with you. They will contact you. They could live out of distance here. It is some sort of third party there. But they want to rekindle this friendship you had with them. They have feelings for you. Queen of Cups. Could be a third party in their life. Which is a water sign. Most likely Cancerian or um, Pisces. If you deal with an Aquarius... They regret, there's a lot of regret between you two, there's a lot of hurt between you two, but they want to start something over with you. They will message you like, hey, how are you, how are you doing? Very small, but they are very highly thinking of you. If you don't expect for this person to talk, they are very highly thinking of you, they do regret, it is a lot of hurt between you two, but unexpectedly, they will contact you. One more card. Yes. I feel here they do want to work things out with you. But they feel you are very much into you. Into your money. Into your finances. Into your career. Also they see you more grounded than before. A third party there could be an, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn between you two. That's why it hurts for them. And they feel they don't have enough or they feel like you are more powerful than they are. So Sagittarius, this is what I got for all of you this month. And I hope you enjoyed this reading and have been helpful for you. And of course, loves, if you like, share, subscribe and comment. This is so much appreciated. And of course, we'll see you next time. Many blessings and bye for now. Namaste.